Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Fate Apocrypha episodes 3 and 4. Uh, I've got nothing to say for the start of this episode, but I've been enjoying the series so far. Um, but yeah, as always guys, I like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new, as you may or may not know. I'll be uploading Fate Apocrypha on Wednesdays every week, um, so look forward to that. But yeah, let's go into these episodes right now. God, why does it have to start here? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Astolfo just doesn't care. What the fuck is wrong with this bitch? Oh god, Jesus Christ. Oh shit. This one's waking up. Are they all like the same? Like some of them are girls, some of them are boys, but the they all look the same. Yeah, clearly Astolfo doesn't know that this is a homunculi. <laughs> Look how he's being carried. No idea. Definitely have no idea. Definitely not the thing on my shoulder. The question is, does Ast Astolfo actually know that it's a homunculi? Because it, 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 obviously he replied just very quickly. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's before. <laughs> not my business. I'll save this dude and let it not be my business. Oh, I like how, how he has a tail. <laughs> he doesn't have his like centaur body, but he has a tail. Oh shit, are these all the other mages on this side? On Team Red. Did she, like, force him to stop or something then? What the hell? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. My ears almost just fucking exploded. Son of Surya, the sun god. Karana. Ooh. He looks freaking cool. Why would you try and fight the ruler of the, the war? Really? Wow. Well. Oh, shit. Damn, let's go. Oh, so Team team Black is on the ruler's side then. Oh, shit. These, like, these seem like the big the big guys of each side. Saber and the Unlancer. Yeah, these two can fight. He just can't fight me. It feels like this this saber just does not match its master. <laughs> like that is such he such looks like such a pathetic master. Wandering Knight of the Netherlands, cool. Oh lordy lord. Oh, was this back when he was alive? That ho horrible killer of my lover. Bro, they're just going overboard, just soaking him in blood. Wow. At what point are you just like, I don't know who is right to kill anymore. Wow, dude. Jesus Christ, we're on episode three. This animation goes crazy. Oh my God, bro. What the? F this... This sound right now is literal audio porn. What the hell? Bro, why have I not watched this series sooner? Uh, <laughs> will you now? Will you? Are you going to use a command seal already? Bro. Why is that a problem? Damn, we got like a little sneak of like what could potentially come now like these two just definitely seem like the best of their sides it was a marvelous battle it was about 20 seconds but it was pretty damn great to see <laughs> damn 
Yeah, she's clearly just not going to go like to the home base of one of the sides. She has to stay neutral. What the fuck? Oh, is this? Oh, is this your suitcase? Oh no, is he having nightmares of the other ones? Oh, they got him dressed finally. That's good. <laughs> that stuff was pretty stupid. I like it. What? Why? Because they uh, homunculus don't have uh, that long of a life. So basically, this guy is just like full of magic, but you can only use it for a few years. Who's this? Is it Frankenstein? No. Yeah, same here. Definitely different. Unsightly monster. I don't think so. Don't trust him that this was spawned as a heroic spirit. <laughs> no, not the same. I have. They have to be made of body parts. So he's got kind of a noble wish then. Except bringing anybody back to life is just a recipe for disaster. I don't know. Oh, okay. But you're already dead. Wait, what? So where would you live? Would you come back to life? What? Oh, I mean, fair enough. But like, yes, you could do more than with the Holy Grail. You had four feet, my friend. <laughs> this dude's really got to learn how to walk. Where does he live? Like, under the cemetery or something? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. I hope we get lots of Mordred content in, uh, in this series. Getting on a good side. <laughs> the fuck is this? Oh my god, is this the, the, the Berserker of Red? Bro. <laughs> oh shit. I love Berserkers, man. That's so cool. Can be your pawn. How? You can have all all the servants go up against him. First step of fate. Ooh. All right. So that was episode three of Fate Apocrypha. Um, we got a little. We got some decent stuff in there. We got a bit more of an introduce introducing to Astolfo's character, um, to kind of see his. Uh, his, you know, what he's like, his personality, uh, how he wants to be kind of save people regardless of what they are, you know, obviously this being a homunculus, an artificial human. Um, definitely interesting plotline to see that obviously, you know, we, we <laughs> I, I expected to see this guy, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to say it's going to be interesting to see where it goes. Obviously with how homunculus works from what I gather, yeah, that obviously they're just ticking bombs of magical energy really that they'll just die after a few years but they're like really powerful um which obviously they use for magical bat batteries which yeah, we've we've seen partly stuff like this from the other fate series um from what i can remember um but yeah that's gonna be cool to see where that goes um along with the fight between karna and siegfried that was 20 30 seconds of just beauty <laughs> uh really cool animation audio went crazy all these these high impact battles just like they feel like they're gonna make my headset explode um but i love it it's great um and then yeah just a bit more of character motivations exploring each character like frankenstein kind on and stuff like that really cool uh that's what i'm looking forward to most in this series uh and yeah we'll get straight into episode four right now <laughs> this berserker is crazy. So this is Ryder and Archer. Oh, Achilles, wow. 
If he uses Noble Phantasm, ooh, I wonder what it is. So it seems that Team Black haven't spotted Archer and uh, Archer and Ryder at this point, which means they could have an advantage, Team Red. I don't actually know who I'm supposed to be rooting for in this uh, kind of war, which side. Definitely don't know who which master I'm supposed to, be, supposed to be rooting for, but I feel like I'm supposed to be rooting for Team Red, but I'm not sure. I stole those rider, but we got fucking Vlad up on a horse. Okay. Hey, I'm looking forward to this. All I've ever seen from Astafo Astolfo is memes, so I'm looking to see how he fights. I wonder how he's going to be involved in this war. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa! Put a hole in his leg! What? Wow, that's a crazy weapon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Who's switching in now? This Vlad? Oh, really? Wow. Berserker, I don't think you want this fight. What made this guy go mad in life, bro? Oh! Was he dead? Wait, what? They're gonna turn him to their side? No way. Oh, they do see the other two. Damn. Yeah, Team Red are very outclassed at the moment. Underestimate you? Ooh, interesting. Bro, I'm hyped to see this guy fight then. Damn, he's stronger than he was letting on. Oh, damn. Was that Archer? <laughs> I like how she's a cat girl. Have they actually just given up on Berserker of Red then? Is she using their Noble Phantasm already? Is it wise to use the Phantasm already though? He's got... Oh, I can't believe it's episode 4 and he's going to use a seal already. Fuck, he doesn't want to do it. Wait, did someone stop it? Wait, so he stopped him from using it, but he still lost a command spell. Wow. Two strokes? What a fucking idiot. What a useless master. Wow. Oh, shit, dude. For a berserker, Frankenstein seems to be the most inclined to listen to people. Oh, damn. Was that Kadon? Nice. <laughs> wow. Oh shit, is he bringing his chariot? Oh, nice. Damn. Using his chariot just to retreat. So a rider versus an archer. Interesting fight. This seems like a big ass sword for someone who can barely walk. This is definitely your fault, you worthless master. You're in trouble now, Ryder. You could definitely do something to this world within three years, dude. Yeah, dude, you don't have to do anything in these three years, just live. Very wise words. Wait, what? 
Saber and Ryder gonna fight? Oh, damn. Bro, Team Black does not seem to have their shit together at all. I would laugh if this homunculus killed this master. Oh shit, fuck him up. Oh shit, he's quite strong. Oh my god. This is probably D for Siegfried. for dude. I like us. I, I like us, Dolfo. Yeah, well, nobody seems to know what they're doing. <laughs> oh shit! Nice, Fred. <laughs> oh shit, bro! When your own servant fucks you up, that's hilarious. Wow. Abandoning someone who didn't wish any of anything of him. What the fuck? Is he killing himself? What the hell is he doing? Why? So we can live? So he's dying? What? Bro, it's episode 4. What is going on? Shit, bro. Rest in peace, Siegfried. You were very much worthy. You were way better than your master. Bro, what a goat. God damn it. So what does this mean? Does he just come back to life now or... Does he get to live longer than three years? What? That's so crazy, bro. Wow, that's awesome, dude. Alright, so... Very unexpected is what happened there, but we, uh, looks like Siegfried died very early on. He's like probably the strongest hero on the side of Bla the team black. Very shocking considering, yeah, like, wow. I <laughs> honestly, I just, I, I really wasn't expecting that at all. I was expecting the Saber to last a very long time in this uh, battle at least, maybe even to the end as Saber's commonly do i suppose um but yeah I guess he's sacrificed his life given his heart to this homunculus what that means for him now i have no idea but can only go up from here i suppose but it, and it also seems now like the jan um is not so much a servant to this homunculus but they will kind of pair, pair up together it seems um yeah, I don't know. It's going to be exciting to see where the story goes from here. Uh, Team Black are down one hero. Team Red might be down on one, down one hero, depending on what happened to Berserker. Um, interesting. I, it was cool to see kind of the Rider of Red, um, Archer of Red, Archer of Black, everyone go up against each other. It was pretty cool. Uh, there's been some good fights so far. I'm getting straight into it, like... There's a there's a, a bit of getting to know the characters, but the, there's fights as well. Very early on in the series, I'm looking forward to the rest of it now. Um, but yeah, as always, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.